Hey guys, so this lecture is going to be on animal body plans. Okay. The organisms that we're going to be looking at are going to be triploblastic, meaning they have three germ layers, uh, ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. And so I'm going to show you what a cross-section of a triploblastic gastrula would look like at the start um, of the early embryonic stage. Okay, and then the three different body plans that can occur, depending on the organism. So we have an acelomate, a pseudocelomate, and a coelomate. And we're going to start with an acelomate. So we have a acelomate. And we'll put that over here. All right, so what you want to do is you want to start with one circle. I'm just going to show you all the different layers of cells. Okay, and we'll use different colors. So here we have a coelomate. Okay, and so this outermost section here, again, this is a cross section. So this outermost section here, and these are all types of cells. Okay, and this is going to be called. Okay, ectoderm. Okay. And ecto meaning outermost layer. And then we have our middle layer, which is right here. That is a called our mesoderm. A meso meaning middle. And then the last one we have is this layer here. It's the same color as the ecto, but don't get it confused. It is a different it's made up of different types of cells. And so this layer here is our endoderm. Okay. The very last, we're just going to put it here. Okay, and then the very middle is called your digestive cavity. And your digestive cavity is not the same thing as a body cavity. So your digestive cavity is where food is going to move through. Whereas your body cavity is what's going to hold organs. So this is acelomate. Let's move on to pseudocelomate. Oh, an example of an acelomate would be... Um, something from the phylum platyhelminthes or a flatworm. And you guys are going to see an example of that. But just to give you a little example, we saw one of these last year. Okay, and it had these eye spots and these little ears here. This would be a, a little platyhelminthe, a little planaria, a little flatworm. Okay. All right. So let's move on to our pseudocelomate. Okay. So our bo next body plan is going to be pseudocelomate. So we'll do S E U D O pseudocelomate. Okay. And pseudo meaning false. So it's not a true coelomate, it's a false coelomate. Let's draw our circles. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So it's a little bit bigger than last time. All right. So this outer layer 
you can probably guess, is going to be our ectoderm. Ectoderm. Again, outer layer, ecto. And then our next layer is going to be our mesoderm. Again, middle mesoderm. And this is eventually going to give rise to muscle. So here's our mesoderm. And then next, this is where it gets a little different from an acylomate, we have a pseudocelum. So this part right here is your pseudocelum. And this is a, uh, a cavity that's filled with a watery-like fluid. And so when the mesoderm is... Um, Again, it gives rise to muscles, so when that muscle is contracting, it's pushing around this fluid-filled cavity, and it's allowing the organism to move. Um, and this is commonly found in roundworms, so nematodes. Okay, so let me label this real quick. So this is your... And then the last one is here, and this is your endoderm. Endoderm. Now, with your pseudocelum, it's always going to have mesoderm on one side and endoderm on the other side, which is why it is not a true coelomate. And then, of course, in the very middle, we have our DC, or the digestive cavity, the very center. Again, remember, this is where food is being passed through. This is not where organs are being um, displayed, so don't confuse that with a body cavity. Okay, so this is a pseudocelomate. And again, an example of this would be a roundworm, such as an ascaris or a uh, vinegar eel, which would, you would find in the phylum nematoda. All right, so let's go with our very last type, and that is a coelomate, and that's what we are. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, so our very last body plan is going to be uh, a true body cavity, and that is our coelom, coelomates. Alright, so let me write that. Coelomate. Oh, not sure what happened there. Coelomate. Alright, so let me show, and this is going to actually look a little different. Over one second. Again. So we have our circle, we have another circle, now we're going to have some half circles. And I'll explain to you what those are in a minute. And then two more. Alright, so let's get our pen out. So this outer layer, as you can probably guess, is going to be our ectoderm. Okay, I'll label that. Ectoderm. Remember outer. Okay. And then the middle layer, this layer here is our mesoderm. And you see how the mesoderm is completely surrounding those half circles. And those half circles are the coelom, so the true body cavity. 
It's going to completely surround it, and that's what makes a coelomate a coelomate. It's where your coelom is completely surrounded by mesoderm tissue. So here we go. Mesoderm. All right, and then we have here. Like a. This is called our coelom. This is where you would find organs. We're just going to fill this in. Okay. And so we have two. And we're going to call that C L O M E C L. Okay. And then our last little layer here. Again, middle, uh, very inner is going to be our endoderm. You should know how to draw all of these. And so we're an example. Um, arthropods are an example of a coelomate. Um, earthworms, we're going to do an earthworm dissection. That's an example of a coelomate of of what we're talking about now, coelomates. Okay? Alright, and then of course in the very middle we have here our DC, which is our digestive cavity. Now it's important to have this space, this coelom, um, because it's it's a space that provides um, the uh, space for the movement of or organs. And so if you had a beating heart or your lungs that were breathing, um, they're not going to be embedded in tissue. And so for some organism like an acelomate, um, the organs are embedded in the tissue. So if you had a beating heart, which they don't, but if you had a beating heart, it would literally shake their body every time the heart beat. And you wouldn't want that. So with coelomates, you have this space. Um, this cavity, and so it allows these internal organs to grow and move independently of the actual body, which is a good thing. All right, so those are your three. Make sure that you know all three and know how to draw all three. I will see you guys this week. All right.